Well, certainly Ash Wednesday brings back horrific memories for Australians. Fortunately, in this case, there's been no loss of life and we're grateful for that. And the injuries uh, have been mainly smoke inhalation and the like. So in reality, we're fortunate that there's been not the loss of life associated with Ash Wednesday. But nonetheless, uh, in the Adelaide area alone, uh, at least 26 houses have been lost, uh, another 40 or more outbuildings. And for the families that have lost everything, clearly uh, they now have a rebuilding task ahead of them. And as the temperatures are due to pick up and the wind speeds are due to pick up, what is your concern? Well, certainly there's been a little respite over the last couple of days as temperatures have dropped, even a few showers in a few places. That's enabled uh, firefighters to get on top of things in Victoria. Uh, the concentration, therefore, has been around Adelaide. And, um, and the, the weather temperature forecasts um, are for two 38-degree days coming up. Uh, with wind issues as well and so there's potentially new danger coming up over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, we hope that uh, the, the, the respite has given firefighters an opportunity to, to try and trim some of the edges of the fire. Uh, there's over 200 kilometre front uh, to the fires around Adelaide and so it's a massive task to try and contain it uh, so that it can be managed when the weather is likely to be worse over the next couple of days. And what is your advice to people who are still on the ground? Well, people are taking local advice uh, from their local fire controllers. Uh, many people have left their homes and uh, moved to safer places. Most have come back now because of these two better days, but another decision will probably have to be made for most people in the next day or so as to whether they again move away uh, to protect themselves and their families or whether they want to stay, stay at home and try and fight the blaze and protect their property. That's a decision that each household has to make. It's always a trying one and uh, clearly um, uh, the community gets behind one another, supports themselves. Uh, the firefighters have been very active. Firefighters are coming in from other states to help. The equipment that's uh, assembled and maintained uh, throughout the year is, is being uh, uh, located and has been located to the major fire areas. So we're doing everything we possibly can, but nature is powerful, fires are powerful, and uh, everyone must respond to that to, uh, to that threat.